In the meantime, let's talk about this guitar in celebration of your new album. Congratulations. It's Thank fabulous. You. Thank you. We have a brand new record called On the Prowl. It's out now for free. It's free. <laughs> Guys, the new business model is really working out for <laughs> listeners out there. You can listen to it for free. Our album is free. And this is, uh, this is the, the cover of our album. And, uh, and Ron, my buddy Ron, painted this. Ron Williams is his name. And he's super awesome at art, and, uh, and that's 1987. People are like, what? why 1987? Well, that's the year that I hit retirement age. I'm just kidding. I was, <laughs> I was only in my mid-40s at that point. But 19, we have a song called 1987, and uh, we, put, we actually sold some of these guitars. No. Oh, um, fabulous. For a small, I think they were, they were going for like only like 75 bucks or something. It was crazy. Now we're selling some miniature versions on our, on our website, steelpantherrocks.com. But we sold some, some full real-life versions of this guitar as well. And I think they sold out. We didn't sell a whole lot of them. But, but uh, this is a badass-looking guitar. God, I love it. Okay, it so is. Tell me about, first of all, the, uh, the inlays on the neck are They great. are. They're one of a kind. I can't believe nobody ever did this before. Those are strippers. Yeah. On the and pole. That's what that's what strippers, those are silhouettes of strippers in Las Vegas. Because the ones that you find in Oklahoma City are much bigger. So, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, they're basically right. dancing around the poles and it looks badass on a guitar neck. Can you zoom in on that? How great it's it's like, and that was Ron's idea, and I was like, how come nobody ever came up with that idea before? Stripper inlays on the frets. And then I realized as I was trying to play this guitar that I don't know where the dots are because there's strippers <laughs> everywhere. So when I play this guitar, I hit a lot of bad notes. For that one. Little but distracting, totally worth it. It's okay though because our singer hits bad notes all night. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. It actually works better. It's kind of like Led Zeppelin IV. Everything's out of tune, but it's just in the right way, right? Yeah. Hey, so. can you show the back of it too? Because yes. that is oh, the back, equally... the back is like almost the best part, right? Yeah. I need to, I need to do... Um, yeah, it's a beautiful mouth. It's actually my singer's mouth. <laughs> it looks good. Um, yeah, the, the paint job's amazing. And actually, a lot of people don't, um, you can't really tell just unless you really zoom in, but if you zoom, zoom in on the fine tuners, it does say vagina. Oh. It spells out vagina. That's sweet. That's which, is, <laughs> which is totally great. Like somebody's yeah. gonna try to cancel me. He can't see vagina on the fine tuners. <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> Yeah, but when it's perfectly in tune, you can read it. Like, that's how you know you're in tune. You don't even listen to the guitar. You just know that when the, when it's, the letters line up, I don't even care if it's in tune. I just care if people can read vagina on there. Sure. Um, so, but yeah, it's a, this guitar is, is a Charvel. It's got a stripper got a signature, on uh, You've got a signature model. Are they going to release this as a signature as well? You know what? If Charvel uh, gets their goddamn act together, they will. Right. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I we did release a limited uh, uh, edition of of this. Like I said, I don't know if there's an easy way to do like a like a a version of this because it's like you know, oh yeah, it's not that's... easy to do all this stuff. Um, but but I do have a, a really awesome guitar over here.